All right, guys, quick little video here to uh, go over what I tried to cover on the previous video with the timer, but I don't think I, I was explaining the status of the bits on each step of an online uh, edit. So let's take a look at uh, this circuit here. So here we've got our standard three wire. I may have changed the, uh, the bits associated with each of the inputs and the outputs compared to our previous uh, three wire, but we have a stop, a start, a holding contact, and we've got an output. Looks like the output here is going to be uh, bit number zero, right? Or output number zero. You can see here that on the LEDs that output zero is off and output one is on. So because this is off, this instruction is true and output number one is true, right? So I have one light to turn on when my circuit is true. And then I have one light to turn on when the circuit is false. Okay, so uh, in this sequence, if I change the status of input zero, which is my stop, you can see that changing within the ladder diagram where my mouse is. You can also see that changing uh, right here on the inputs. And with this circuit, obviously, if we hit the start push button, which is this bad boy right here, uh, then you'll see that uh, input number one will go true. Sorry, yes, input number one will go true up here. Uh, and the output zero and output one, one will change state there. So let's do that. So we hit the start push button. You can see there that the outputs zero and one have now flip flopped. I'm going to let go of the start push button and we can see that output zero uh, is still true and output one has now turned off and we can see that uh, here as well. Okay, so we're pretty cool with this circuit. Let's go through the online edits now and see what happens with the rest of the, uh, the outputs as we change, as we add in some stuff. Um, so here, I'm gonna click on this rung right here. Remember that we said that in the previous video, you can do um, up here, start, you can click on this start pending rung edits, or you can hit uh, control shift S, or you can click on this guy and then just hit enter. Okay, now we've got, um, two identical rungs here. One is the insertion rung, one is the replacement rung, right? So it's going to replace our existing code and insert our changes on from this rung right here. Okay, so all I wanna do here is I wanna add in another output in parallel. So maybe uh, this is turning on a machine, but I wanna have a light that turns on that indicates that it's on as well. So I'm gonna put in an, ex an additional branch here. So I'm coming up here to branch, clicking on this bad boy. I want that to go around my output, so I'm gonna grab this right-hand side until it's green and let her go. I'm gonna click on this side of my branch and I'm gonna add in another, um, another output. Beautiful, dropping her down until she's green. Uh, and it looks like I've used output zero, output one, so obviously this one's gonna be output number two. So I'm clicking here to local one colon O, looking at the data, opening it up and I can see here that uh, my next output that's available is output number two. So we'll use that guy. Beautiful. Okay, let's see now that we've made those changes, if anything has changed with the, the logic of our circuit. So if I hit the stop push button, that still comes in, right? And you can see that it seems to be working exactly the same as we had it before, right? Now the output zero is off, so output one is on. I'm going to reclose my start push button. I'm going to uh, now push the start push button. So I'm going to push this guy. Output zero turns on and output one turns off. Okay, so it looks like it's working exactly the same as it was before. So we've made uh, some online edits here, but nothing has actually changed out in the field. Okay, next step is I'm going to come up here uh, and I'm going to accept the pending program edits. Okay, so I've created my, my uh, online edits. I'm now going to accept them. Okay, accept the pending run edits of main program. Yes. Okay, now you'll see that these guys go to large, to uppercase I and R. Okay, uh, and let's see if anything's changed here on the outputs here. So we'll hit the start push button. Everything still seems to be exactly the same as it was before. Okay, if I, I did that a little bit too fast. If I hit the, the start, if I hit the start push button, uh, it looks like output zero is turning on but we can clearly see that output two is not turning on, right? We can see that uh, here and we can see that here as well, right? So I'm hitting the start push button and one output is turning on, output zero, but output two is not changing state there. Okay, 
So next step is we're going to test our rung edits. So that is, I believe, right here. So test the accepted program edits. So we're going to click on this guy. Okay, we're going to hit yes. Okay, so now let's test them out. So we've got our stop push button that can change state. Okay, we've got, uh, right now, we've got output number one on because output zero is off. Okay, so let's hit that start push button and see if both of those outputs uh, turn on now. So start push button is pressed now. Okay, excellent. Okay, so now we can see that output zero and output two are on. Right, I'm gonna let go of the start push button and they remain on. So again, we can see that change here and we can see that change here in that the outputs have actually uh, fired on. Beautiful, so we've tested out the, the edits. Everything seems to be working as we expected there. Okay, if we hit the stop push button, then both of those outputs should go off. Beautiful, and data one turns on. Excellent, Start stop push button is back to its rest state now. So everything's cool, right? So we have uh, created our edits, then we've accepted our edits, now we've tested the edits. Last step is we need to um, assemble the accepted program edits. So as soon as I do that, and I hit yes, excellent. Now my uh, ladder logic, that additional rung there disappears. Uh, so now we've, it's inserted it into that rung. And now I have a circuit now where if I hit the start push button, then both outputs, output zero and output two, uh, turn on, remain on. And then when I hit the stop push button, then uh, they turn off and output number one turns on. So hopefully that makes it a little bit more clear on um, that you have to actually go through all those different steps in order to accept that online uh, edit and that the, the state of your outputs will not change um, until you've actually tested them out. Um, and, then, uh, and then what was the last thing we did? And we assembled the accepted uh, uh, program edits. So hopefully everything is a little bit more clear there. I didn't feel like it was clear on the first video, so hopefully I've uh, um, cleared that up. Let's move on to uh, counters, guys. Thanks very much. We'll see you in the next video.